This is Erin at Side and Strickers. Today I will be showing you how to set up your 2630 for harvest. First, we will go into our menu soft key. And then we'll go into our GS3. From here, we're going to work down the right hand side through resources, equipment, document, mapping, and guidance. We'll go into our resources tab. Here we will set up our client farm and field as well as our task and our crop season. Task will be harvest, crop season will be 2015. Once these are verified, we can go into our Equipment tab. And here we will verify that the machine model and name are set up correctly, as well as change our offsets. Here we will physically measure the offsets shown in the picture and input the readings. Once these are verified, we can select Accept. Then we can go into our Header tab, make sure our model and name are correct. We can go into Change Offsets. Here we will need to physically measure the distances shown in the picture and input our offsets. Once those are inputted, we select Accept. Now we can go into Change Widths. In here we will need to make sure our implement width, which is our rows, and our track spacing rows are reading the same. If you had a platform, you would select the Feet Rows button and verify that your track spacing, your row width, was correct. Since we are using a corn head, we're going to switch it back to Feet and select Accept. From here we will go and make sure our overlap control is selected. Then we will go into Document. At the top we have Harvest and we can change our harvest settings depending on what crop type we are combining. Select our brand and variety and then we can also select Variety Locator if we planted different varieties in our field. You can see at the top we have a harvest and a new tab. To make sure harvest is documented, we only need one tab at the top. If you have multiple tabs at the top, you can simply select on the tab you don't need and select remove at the bottom. Hit accept and this takes us back down to just our harvest and new tab. We will go into mapping, go into map settings. For foreground, we want yield, wet, and we want to check guidance lines. We will select accept and down at the bottom we will select the second box from the left which changes our legend. It shows up on the left side of our screen. We will go and select that box which is our bushels per acre and in here we will select which yield fits our field the best. So we're going to go 150 for corn as our high and 60 as our low. Select Accept, and then we will be able to go into our Guidance tab, go into Guidance Settings, select Adaptive Curves, go into Curve Track Settings, and change it to Documentation. Select Accept. We will then change our Tracking Mode back to Straight Track, and go into our Shift Track Setting tab at the top, and make sure our small shifts are on. This allows us to shift our track as needed. Once this is done, we have set up our 2630 for harvest.